Time now for our fact-checking segment, Truth or Fake? And I'm joined by Catalina Marchandiebro. Welcome to Catalina. Um, now, let's go to the coverage of the war in Ukraine. Uh, and let's start with that claim that Russia is using mobile crematoriums in, in Ukraine to hide their losses. Tell us more. Indeed, Tom. The Telegraph reported that Russia would be using mobile crematoriums uh, to follow their troops into Ukraine as a way to hide their losses. This was reported on February 23rd, so one day before the invasion. This is their headline right here. Russia deploys mobile crematoriums to follow it, its troops into battle. And it's mostly based on statements made by the UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace, where he's referring to Russia's previous use of crematoriums uh, when fighting burst out in Easter Ukraine in 2015 and where in the days leading to the imminent invasion, Wallace expresses his concerns over these military tactics. He says that this is chilling and that they've done this before and that they expect that the, they will do this again. And they also uh, they also say that this footage was released by the MOD, by the Ministry of Defense. So the problem here is with the specification of the facts. They don't specify that these images uh, are older, unrelated images to the current conflict. They have this video right here as well saying, Chilean footage shows a media, uh, mobile crematorium which can be used for Russian uh, soldiers. So this whole report can be easily taken out of context and people can quickly start confirming that they are indeed using a mobile crematoriums in Ukraine as they already have in Twitter right here. They say Russian has introduced mobile crematoriums to follow Russian troops. Uh, uh, this other user says Russian's mobile crematoriums designed to evaporate dead soldiers and hide the true scale of the war. And uh, even further uh, saying international tribunal at the Hague processes formal complaint of targeting civilians, hospitals, and children. The use of heat rays and atrocity racing mobile crematoriums is a known illegal tactic. The problem is that this isn't a confirmed uh, tactic that they've been using just yet, uh, but we will detail where the original images come from. Uh, so we saw the original video posted right here by this company on August 2013. And this is the same video that was used by The Telegraph. And when we went into the company's website, it indeed it specifies that it's a Russian incinerator construction company. Uh, so finally, there's also been many reports back in 2015 using the same video of these mobile crematoriums used to incinerate bodies of uh, Russian uh, soldiers in uh, Donbass. And this was also uh, covered by Ukrainian in media where Russian soldiers burned in, in uh, mobile crematoriums and uh, by Western media as oh, well. But there is no independent reporting to confirm or not that these crematoriums were used either in 2015 or in 2022. Tom. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you, Catalina Marchandiebro, for our today's edition of Truth or Fake.